Our top story tonight, Senator Lindsey Graham was in town today and spoke out about President Trump's decision to fire Attorney General Jeff Sessions. News 19's Lauren Thomas spoke with Senator Graham today and she joins us with more. Lauren, what can we learn? Well, you know, Senator Graham says he was pleased to speak with President Trump today about the firing of Attorney General Jeff Sessions and the midterm elections. Now, he was in town tonight attending a fundraising event for the South Carolina National Guard Foundation. But we got a chance to talk about what's to come now after Sessions firing the acting attorney general, as well as if he could be interested in the position in the future. President Trump, like every other president, has the right to choose an attorney general he has confidence in. It will have to be somebody that can get confirmed. There are a lot of good choices. I appreciate Jeff Sessions' service, but clearly it wasn't working between him and the president. So I expect we'll get a new attorney general sometimes next year. Mr. Whitaker is a good replacement on an interim basis. And uh, to those who worry about the Mueller investigation, you need not worry, he'll be allowed to finish his job. The one thing I can tell the people of South Carolina with a high degree of confidence I have no interest in being Attorney General. I'm honored that people would think I could be. Trey Gowdy from South Carolina is in the mix. He'd be a great choice, but the list for President Trump is pretty long. I voted for every Democratic Attorney General, uh, for Obama, uh, Holder, and uh, Loretta Lynch, and I expect the President soon to nominate a highly qualified replacement for Jeff Sessions, and I look forward to supporting that person. And if I am chairman of the Judiciary Committee, we'll try to get the person through as quick as possible. Now, when it comes to the midterm election, Senator Graham says he was pleased with the huge turnout for voters there. And Lauren, uh, you also talked with him about maybe how he feels about Democrats taking control of the House, Republicans, the Senate. What did he have to say there? Right. He says, well, he hopes that they can all work together on this one. He's optimistic that they'll be able to work together. And he's hoping that they can find middle ground on issues like immigration, prison reform and infrastructure. All right, Lauren Thomas, live in studio for us tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you.